Hello everyone, I'm Eric Field and this is Parametric Energy Design. This class is a research seminar oriented class looking at how we design using parametric tools with energy. A few key words I want to put forth here. This is data driven. We're working with data coming in and feedback loops based upon that data. Climate sensitive to produce an energy performative architecture. That's sort of the key behind this entire class. How do we combine this set of things? We talk a lot in architecture about parametric design. We do these kinds of things all the time, producing these kinds of geometries. Thing is, most of these are just formalisms. Some get a little bit beyond that, but so many of them really are just geometric playgrounds. I want to start to turn this into something a little bit more appropriate take some of these kinds of ideas in parametric design, the ability to produce the kinds of geometries that we're working with, but to tie them back to a performative based idea, to something which is trying to take a little bit more of a feedback loop, a very specific loop looking at the data, the systems, and the, uh, the performance characteristics of the geometry, the materials, and the climate in which this is, to take a, an approach toward refining the geometries in a way that actually respects the, the performance characteristics of what's going to happen to this. So we're going to take a very strict and appropriate approach toward marching through the various sensitivity analyses using a handful of parametric design tools, some of which some of you may already have a degree of familiarity with, but we're going to begin to uh, focus them in and focus the feedback loops to be able to achieve a real outcome, uh, a real tangible idea of geometry based upon performative data. And to do that, we're going to use the university and some buildings of the, at the university as our lab of study. We have a few buildings right on the grounds of UVA that have been designed in recent years to be LEED certified. These are LEED Silver. These are two uh, buildings by Bowen Swinsky Jackson, Rice Hall on the left, uh, a physical and life sciences building on the right, both designed within the last decade, uh, to be energy performative. But they've done so in ways that, well, we might want to speculate on a little bit. We might want to understand a little bit better. What do these fins actually do? What are these facades actually achieving? How does the solar access and the lighting and the, uh, the heating and cooling systems actually work within these kinds of buildings? What about proposals that are going on? This is another proposal by Perkins and Will architects for a renovation of the south facade of Gilmer Hall right here on university grounds as well. How are they going about doing this? What is the study? What are the real impacts of this kind of thing? Using performative analysis in a parametric manner to be able to achieve it. And then of course we have our own Campbell Hall, which has actuated robotics upon the south facade. We have daylighting systems that are responsive within the building. What does this all actually do? We have data, we have some collections on this, we can begin to really study these things to understand those premises. Then we start to turn those around. We take the studies that we're doing with real data and real analysis with geometry and turn it back using tools within Grasshopper, within Ladybug and Honeybee, and a new tool called Climate Studio that's out there just barely on the market in the last six months to start looking at variations upon these themes, variations upon the geometries, and to begin to understand their performative impacts. Where does shading help? Where does it not help? Where are we getting a lot of sun? Where are we not getting a lot of sun? What do, where do window sizes start to play into some of these things? What kind of patterns can we start to develop on facades? What kind of patterns can we start to develop in terms of geometric relationships that have real influence upon the performative nature of the buildings using things like shade benefit analysis, facade patterns, daylight factors, looking at uh, access to solar conditions and getting down very discreet upon some of the conditions on some of these shading devices, the ones that already exist, in this case looking at Rice Hall, that building by Bowen Swinsky Jackson, or here looking at uh, physical and life sciences, looking at solar radiation and energy shade benefit, and a proposal then for how a dynamic mesh facade might start to understand this and begin to actuate upon this idea in a better way than what it might even currently be doing. And then, ultimately, we want to turn this around into a real proposal to start to look at a new building which is coming up at the university grounds, the new School of Data Science building, which is happening just our own neighbor. Here we have, you see, 
uh, the drama building, Campbell Hall, up there. Uh, we have the Emmett Ivy Corridor in here, and a new building is being proposed right now by Hopkins Architects. And sustainability and data integ integration and the feedback loops for this are a core part of what they are trying to achieve. This is a design in progress. I can't even share with you what these look like right now, but we can start to propose. We may even be able to start getting contact with some of those designers and begin to talk through some ideas with them. So all of that together, looking at parametric design to achieve a data-driven, climate sensitive, energy performative architecture. That's the goal of the class, parametric energy design. Come join us.